global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Happy New Month to you all. God bless you and may this month bring you great tidings well as we speak a lot of nigerians a lot of people all over the world have been praying that the whole saga going on between russia and ukraine will not degenerate to world war three well a lot of prayers went down but as we speak it looks like nothing concrete is coming up as a um, russian president Putin has also given condition to end this whole crisis while at it nigeria too nigeria as a country have also decided to rise up and do a lot of sanctioning against Russia. Nigerians in general have been reacting to their moves. Mm, a lot of uh, news put into one. We're going to give that out in a moment. But before we do that, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see that notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, according to a report, the Russian president. Pointing has laid out certain conditions for stopping the ongoing war with Ukraine. Though no concrete agreement was reached in the peace talk, that's the meeting that was held between uh, Moscow and Kiev on Monday, the Russian leader was able to pass a message during a phone conversation with France President Emmanuel Macron on Monday. During the conve convention, he stressed the conditions under which he would consider withdrawing his troops from the neighboring country. According to the report, the Russian president Putin stressed that a settlement is possible only if Russia's legitimate security interests are unconditionally taken into account, including the recognition of the Russian sovereignty over Crimea, the demilitarization and denazification of Ukrainian state and ensuring its neutral status. While well, CNN quoted the Russian statement via UK media and PA news agency after the telephone conversation between the two leaders. Though it wasn't stated that the French president agreed to Putin's request, all the top leaders around the world are working hard to settle the dispute between the two countries. Mm, this quite, what he's asking for is a very tough tough one, I must say. But of course, Nigerians also, Nigeria as a country, have also decided to do the needful over sanctioning uh you over sanctioning Russia. A lot of Nigerians are worried, I must say, where the president Mohammed Buhari's government has said Nigeria is ready to sanction Russia for invading Ukraine in line with the United Nations resolution to adopt and impose sanctions on the country. On imposing the sanction, this is going to be a collective action. The United Nations has to act. Disclosed Nigerian Foreign Affairs Minister uh, Geoffrey Onyama in an interview with Channel TV on Monday night. He added, and I quote him, said, We are going to act and engage within the framework of the United Nations. So if the United Nations adopt and imposes sanctions against Russia, we will comply with UN's resolution. Yema condemned Russian President Putin's decision to wage war against Ukraine. He made it very clear. We condemned it. First of all, military force is not the solution. We have spoken up about the territorial integrity that we recognize the integrity of Ukraine, insisting, insisted the minister. Nigeria's position on the resolution is very clear that we do not condone this military intervention in another country. Took off the kettle in the pot black. Thousands of Nigerians have been caught in the Russian-Ukraine war with the federal government frantic to get them out of Ukraine. It directed Nigerians fleeing Ukraine to head to Hungarian or U Romanian borders for easy access. For now, movement to the Hungarian border and Romanian border and the Maramoros borders is advised as the approved visa-free access to all Nigerians coming from Ukraine and arrangement for accommodation and feeding before evacuation is arranged, said Permanent Secretary to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Gabriel Aduda, in a statement. Nigerian embassies in Romania, Hungary and Poland have received over 256 stranded Nigerians from Ukraine while awaiting the arrival of 200 more in the coming days, said Aduda. 
Russian President Putin ordered an invasion of Ukraine last week and neighboring Belarus effectively used as a staging post for the Russian military. A lot of Nigerians have been reacting to this. You know, we all understand the fact that um, this is Nigeria. We, we know our capacity when it comes to the issue of um, military strength and uh, we don't want to be talking with when the giants are talking. We are still trusting the Lord for development. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Right, but let's feel the pulse of Nigerians, please. This one here is saying very, very, in a very funny way. He said, Please, it's today April Fool's Day because I'm not understanding what the business of a chicken is in the matters of a pack of wolves. In other words, they say, What has Nigeria got to do with developed countries that have all the military wires? You know, if they say, Okay, who is talking enough? They face their attention now to Nigeria. Are we have, do we have the capacity? Well, if you watch what um, uh, Onyama said, Geoffrey Goffrey said, he, he said, in line with United Nations and their UN member states. So whatever they're doing, they're doing in line with the UN member state. I'm sure Putin will understand that it's not like Nigeria, I hate any of them, just that we are following orders due process, okay? They shouldn't just single us out. Mm. This one here is saying, make all these African countries just stay away from what is happening with NATO and Russia and remain the third what they are quietly. <laughs> Not any of them will play a sincere role when any of the African countries is in problem. Mm. That's quite deep if you ask me. This one here is saying, mm. Nigerians occupies strategic position in the international community. Example is Ngozi Iwala as head of WTO Keeping mom could be interpreted as support for Russian aggression on Ukraine. Hence, pressure from international partners, international politics, maybe child's play. And they tell you, my brother, they tell you. This one here is saying, um, that, wait, wait, what are you expecting? Refuse? Maybe you want Nigerian's economy to crash if you do refuse or don't comply. Oh, hell, America. <laughs> Nigerian government don't have no choice. Do, do they? Let them enjoy. Without the West, what are they? Now, how can they survive? They are just like empty drums. True fat is no hate. We could not just leave Russia thing alone. We could face our own trouble here. No good they would do past yourself. I tell you, Nigeria have enough. Enough. We are still looking at what we want. If you want us to start listing them, honestly, we won't need to come to our aid. We have uh, the Fulani Hessmen. We have the UGM, we have Bandit, we are struggling. In fact, we have shouted on social media. We keep hearing we are engaging, we will do this. We've not, nothing has been done. So like uh, one of the Nollywood actors said, Yola Doche said, while well, we are also praying for uh, Ukraine, please try and look inward too. Because at some point they asked them, uh, Ukraine was asking that any friends of Ukraine that would like to join in the defending the land of Ukraine, they are free to go to the embassies and you know from there they can find their way into Ukraine to defend the land. Please, if you're amongst those, please start from your fatherland first. We need you to, to defend our land. That's what we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comments.